Hi, uh, my name's Grace. This is my first home wrecked video and my first um, year with Golden Valley Park and Rec. So today I'm gonna be making um, just a little uh, pinwheel that they're really easy to make and they're really fun um, just to decorate or you know play with. So what you're gonna need is a square of paper. Um, I have one that has a pattern on it. It can just be any piece of paper, um, a pencil, a pair of scissors and also a push pin or a thumbtack. So what we're gonna do, so after you cut your um, piece of paper into a square, uh, and then you can make it as big as small as you want. I made mine on the smaller side, but uh, you're gonna flip it over and on the back, you're gonna make two lines connecting the corners. So it basically makes just one giant X on the back. Like that. And then you're going to make little hash lines about halfway through each of the four lines. And then you're going to cut to those hash lines. So you're going to cut from the corner and then go into right about that hash line. And then you'll do this for all four corners. And after this, we're going to fold it to get the pinwheel shape and you're gonna need the pencil with an eraser so you can push the push pin into the eraser once you get it um, through the paper. So how we're gonna fold it is so now that you have it cut, you're gonna take one of these like almost little tra like trapezoid sections, you're gonna take the top corner and fold it into the center. So it's, it's, gonna, look, it's gonna look like this after it's folded in. And you're gonna do that with every corner. So you're gonna take the adjacent corner and then bring it to the center and make sure they overlap. So you have something to pin once you get all of them. So now that I have all, all four, it should look just about like this. You can see the pinwheel shape. So then you're gonna grab your your push pin or your thumbtack and you're gonna start on the side where it's all folded and you're gonna push it through and then you're gonna get it through the other side and now that you have that you're gonna grab your pencil with an eraser and you're gonna push it through the eraser and there you go now you have a little pinwheel